that series. Okay. Let's see for all these people. And Suzanne Buchanan, our executive director, said we needed help with the photograph collection and not only organizing it, but storing it archivally and making it accessible through a database. Um, I decided to take on the project with the help of Carl and several other people. And um, we're, we're just the beginning stages and we're putting the photographs into buffered archival sleeves, each in a separate sleeve, so that they can be then accessed by everyone once the database is up. When you look at the old photographs, they're just loaded with history. There might be little details in there that seem insignificant, but they can help uh, date a photograph. They can help uh, identify where it was taken and uh, everything from the time of year and, and so on. So I'm thinking that uh, this is right up at the end, probably the Allen Gay House is right over here on the right-hand mm -hmm. side, and we're looking um, East back. Um, I think if we don't have them identified properly, generations pass by and it gets more and more muddied and the history gets more and more. However, somebody has miswritten it, will be just perpetuated. So it's very important to get people like Carl involved in, in, in getting this right. But from my point of view, it's more important to preserve these photographs um, in, a, in, a, in a proper fashion for a museum for, for the future. You can understand better the, the fabric of a town when you see how it grew and how it changed and uh, changes for the better or worse. And I just think it's uh, part of what we're all made of. Here in Hingham, we're especially lucky because a lot of our history is still there. And we look at the photographs and how the houses look, but sometimes we can just walk out on the street, see the house as it is today, and because we have so many people who are conscious of historic uh, uh, work. It, they're, they're properly preserved and we, we've done a good job, so it makes it doubly fun. No caption for this picture. Thank you, Alita. <laughs> Alita Peterson's motive was to take these pictures. God bless her for doing it. <laughs>